from Lisbon, we head north to the university town of Coimbra. This is a great small, like mini Lisbon, famous for its university, which is one of the oldest in Europe. You can see it up on the hilltop here. The old part of the town has all this great, beautiful architecture, pedestrian streets all lined in marble. It can be a bit slick if it's rainy, so be careful. And then you can walk up to the castle. You have sort of two, or up to the university, you have sort of two options. You can walk through the main part of the city. At the end, there's an elevator that takes you up. Or you can walk this way, kind of up, wind up the little streets. Rick has a great little walking tour in his book where you kind of take the elevator up and then you walk back down this street from the university. From here, we head north to Porto. This is the working town. And the River Douro runs right through it where you have all these old wine boats. And the, on the other side of the river is where all the port wine lodges are. So if you, want, if you really like port wine and you want to do some port wine tasting, you can go over there. And there's quite a few of them that we list in our guidebook. The area along the river called the Ribera has all these beautiful kind of unique buildings. I really like one of my favorite hotels we list in the book is here, the Guest House Duro. And it's been remodeled, one of these old Ribera houses. Also, the Stock Exchange Palace, which you think, how could that be an interesting site? But it actually is pretty cool. They built it to really impress people for, to um, attract foreign trade. They don't let you take any pictures inside, but all the various rooms are decorated. They have a Moroccan room that's all done in this plaster work. Um, they have another one that's all done with gold, gold leaf and inlay. And they do English language tours almost hourly there, so it's a really easy place to visit. There's also another wine tasting center just to the right. The main square, Avenida de Aliados, this has a lot of great Art Nouveau architecture. And one of the coolest McDonald's you will ever see. So I kind of have mixed feelings about this McDonald's because you see this all over Europe. I've seen this in Tallinn, in the old city wall. They're this really old historic part of the city that there's a McDonald's built there. Well, in this case, this was an old um, cafe from the 1800s that was slated to be torn down. And McDonald's bought the property, and they left it pretty much as it was. They, they left the interior intact with all the stained glass. They even left the old coffee bar in there. So. It's even a cool place just to pop in and take a look at. It's one of the stops on Rick's walking tour in Porto. But it's also the classiest place, I think, to have a Big Mac if you really want one. 